Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're still using the winter, or winter, the seasons update. Um, and our little, little town and future city is coming along nicely. Um, we're having a little bit of an aerial view over here. And it is actually quite nice to, uh, to have an aerial view look from above on what we've achieved so far. Um, anyway, yeah, let me put it right here as we uh, as we discuss the future and what's going to happen in this episode. I don't, I, I can kind of see our uh, our power lines aren't very uh, organized, and I, I don't like it. I want to organize that. Anyway, lots of good comments as always, and I do thank you for that. Please keep them coming. It shows me you are interested uh, in supporting this series, and um, I do read through absolutely every one of them. Um, and there are lots of good stuff in there. I've, I've picked a few that I'm just gonna gonna talk about quickly. First thing is the uh, the train roundabout over here. Ooh, let's um, let's get out of this view. The train roundabout up here um, is something that um, that you don't like. You say they don't exist in real life, and yeah, I, fair enough. I agree. It's it's one thing that it's something that's been working quite effectively in the game. But if we're going with realism over here, I do agree. We'll let's uh, we'll get rid of that. And to be honest, there's a few things about this Ironsky layout over here that is not ideal. Um, and so I think we'll spend a little bit of time to redo the layout for the town um, while we actually start building maybe the first block over here because they won't be able to build the entire thing. We'll start building the first block over here while we relay out um, some of the some of the things over there. Um, you're saying that we should uh, lay out the, the rail first and then build the bridge over the top. That'll that'll um, put the placements of the uh, of the piers and so on in the right spots. OK, we'll look at that. Um, there's been a suggestion for a new direct road from the coal to the, uh, to, to the steel mill. And I, I agree that, that, uh, that frees up a lot of, uh, a lot of this road capacity over here. I kind of thought that that was what was happening over here, but potentially there is a different route over here. I was thinking maybe we connect over there as a starting point that'll already provide better access from there. Um, and then potentially we can in the future extend that and run it um, into there. So it's a more direct route directly to um, to the to the coal, the aggregate storage over there or the aggregate loader. Um, to, to, to do what else? Use the wireframe to plan the roads and the rail straight. That is definitely very good. I am aware of that trick and I have used it in the past, but maybe I should use it a little bit more. Um, then there's a lot of discussion around asphalt roads and why we're not using asphalt roads and that we really should be using asphalt roads and all these kind of things. Um, and the, the short and the long answer to that is I will be using asphalt roads. We will slowly be transitioning to asphalt roads. And to be honest, Irinsky over here, we may build um, asphalt roads even before so we don't have to go back and upgrade. Here, we just didn't have the ability to do so while we were, um, while we, while we were building it. We didn't have asphalt available. We didn't have the workers. We didn't have the equipment, all these kind of things. Now we do. Now we'll slowly start implementing it. I don't think it's something that we need to implement in immediately everywhere so we'll start to slowly implement it um, in places where it makes sense like in Arinsky where there's where there's no need for the use of the roads at the moment so as we build we might may as well build asphalt roads and then we'll selectively start um, upgrading asphalt roads over here they um, are quite it's quite disruptive to um, to upgrade the roads um, in a functioning town so we'll, we'll have to do that selectively um, use rail for crops. Okay, so the, we're, this is referring to our new um, our new farming industry out there. Um, we should use rail for crops, um, and we can use distribution offices to manage crop fields instead of um, having um, closed uh, the the closed old trucks in the um, or the covered old trucks in the in the agro farm itself. So yes, we will definitely start looking at that. That is one of the next things we will want to do. So I'm going to start the production or start the construction of Irinsky over here. We will relay out Irinsky and then we will, let's uh, quickly zoom on over here. Then we will do some layout work over here. I've, I've given this a lot of thought um, and I think what we'll do is we, we may start small uh, and, and relay this out, put a little bit of a town over here to kind of feed 
um, the, the the industry pieces over here and we'll start small um, and then I think hopefully by that point we'll be in a position where we can start working on the rail but anyway this will not happen overnight so I'm going to um, let the uh, game keep running we are looking pretty good in terms of the money um, so that's that's awesome we'll continue to upgrade the roads we'll continue to do some construction uh, there's been a suggestion about maybe adding a kindergarten over here so I'm gonna quickly have a look at this block we'll finish this block off and then I'm gonna redo um, a lot of this layout work that we've done over here so once we uh, start the construction piece over here so what I'm thinking we should do and this is not being constructed yet no it's not so uh, what I'm thinking we should do is we should tie this actually through there towards the bus stop. We can definitely add a couple of extra, I was thinking maybe the small ones, but maybe even, the, actually even these can work. What's the size difference? That's uh, 97 workers um, and this is 127. So not too much different. Um, these we can hmm, potentially line up a few more in here. Yeah, actually that would make make sense to have that then we'll have fields in here is the idea and then maybe a kindergarten up there should have a kindergarten over here also but yeah we need more kindergartens so one of the things that i do want to do with this is give ourselves a little bit more space um clearly we're we're kind of just trying to squeeze things in here so i want to give us a bit more space here i do like what we're doing over here so we'll keep that i'm just going to add a few more buildings for variation um, and to be honest, we can run, how many of these can we squeeze? Maybe three of them um, in here versus we'll probably be able to squeeze maybe even five of these guys. So I'm, I'm going to do that. So let's, um, let's uh, do that. What is quite interesting, what, what I find extremely interesting is the fact that if you look at this, right, this guy, for some reason... Hang on, let's zoom out a little bit. For some reason, hang on. For some reason, I can get 346 meters away um, over there. I can get power, okay? But over here, oh no. But over here I can't, right? And that can't be further than that, right? It's just, I don't know. So the power thing, I don't know how that works. But anyway, we, will, we, won't, won't, um, we won't fuss with that too much. Um, so let's get that. Yeah, this is a, a nice angle. I'm going to try and keep them closer to this main road over here. Let's just have a look at that. Uh, already construction is starting. Um, let's have a look. I want to line it up a little bit better. Let's uh, um, demolish that. I'm just going to take out this road ever so quickly. Um, I'm glad things are happening while we're doing this. This is kind of where I want us to get to in the game. It's to a point where we can actually get stuff to, to happen. Can we get a little bit of a better view directly from the top? It's kind of what we're trying to achieve here. Let's do it from this side first. Something like that. Something like that. Then we can definitely squeeze an extra one in here. And I was kind of thinking maybe this one we uh, we turn the other way around. It's interesting that it... Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll leave that spot open and put some more other facilities in there. I think that's probably going to be better in the long run. Let's uh, quickly cancel the construction here just for, for all of these guys. So we don't start getting things out here. Okay, I think this is what we're going to do here. Let's quickly go back, grab ourselves a bit of a kindergarten. It's over here. I was thinking our options, we could. We could try and squeeze a kindergarten in here, but that's a bit of a squeeze. The other option is we can quite easily fit it in here. And that's probably better because we have we'll have kindergartens elsewhere also. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Uh, we should be able to squeeze the various paths through there. I would have liked the tool tip to leave. Is there a way we can switch off the tool tip? No, we cannot. Anyway, I'll do... Squeeze it as forward as possible. We'll uh, stop the construction there. And then we will just go ahead and tie that in. So I think that's the, the idea here. 
Now let's get the sports fields in. I want to start construction on this block and then we'll move on. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, what are we looking for? Sports fields? Oh man, we're going to put nice sports fields in here. And I'm kind of tempted to do it a little bit like this. So if we do that. And that. And maybe one over here. There's a no new vehicle type available. You know what we don't necessarily have? Let's quickly see how far can you walk from this guy? What? What am I looking at? What? What's going on with the walking stuff? Oh, from over there. Okay, so potentially we'll need to start looking at some additional um, stores and stuff. I don't want to put stores in here. We'll put stores on the outside. That's fine. Um, fields. Uh, okay, let's get some, uh, some of these guys also. Hmm. Actually, maybe something like this will look nice. We'll do a nice little pathway thing up here. Yeah, I like this. This is this will work quite well, I think. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Then we can. You know what? We'll also do. We'll put a little, um, a bit of a state emblem in here. Something like that. There we go. Now we just need to. Uh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't do the. Um, hang on. I didn't do the the other one down here. Let's quickly get it. Anything else we wanted to maybe put in here? Maybe we'll get uh, a cinema. No, cinema's too big. But we've got the um, the modded ones. Hang on. Let's let's grab the mod for the. Uh, for the for the um, the theater, I want to put the theater in here, not the university or anything like that. Sports playgrounds, anything else that's in here that we can grab? I think it's okay. Um, was it cinema? Cinema has got the theater. If I can put the yeah, the theater over here will be will be a good addition. Yeah, it doesn't want to tweak it a little. We'll just put it like so. Okay, and now with all of these buildings in place, let's just cancel construction of all of them. We don't want everything to be kind of built all at once. Oh, our money is going up big time. That's awesome to see. Okay, now let's uh, start closing out these things. I don't think we're uh, constructing anything at the moment. Ooh, we don't want to do that, not the building name. These guys, these guys. Okay, this is being constructed. No, 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 no. My goodness. Okay, I think we're okay. I think everything that uh, shouldn't be constructed is not being constructed. Okay, excellent. Now I just want to do the paths quickly. See what we can actually squeeze through here. So one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, maybe let's run it slightly more in the middle. Oh, we had a we had a bit of a fire. So I wanted to do something like this, and then what we'll do is we'll start tying up all of these things. Um, actually, this one will will run that way. That's quite good. Um, then we'll uh, start running this around there. Like so. I think that's kind of the idea. What we'll also do is we will then try and come in from here. Really, it's not... Uh, okay, let's trim it back just a tad. And then we'll try it through there. Come on. I'm certain this would have worked. It does. 
don't know why it doesn't want to do that little section. Anyway, we'll uh, trim that back and then we'll get the connection. Honestly. I have no idea why that's the case. Trim back, trim back, trim back. Try it from... Oh, it's now... Oh, now the building is in the way here. Ah, let's see. If we try and... The fact that it was just working is a little weird. Okay, let's try it back to there. Man, I would like us to... Ah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Tying stuff in. That one doesn't necessarily have to tie in. This one is important to tie in really because it's the um, it's the closest one over here. So let's uh, trim that back a little. Trim that back a little and see if we can move it out of the way a little bit. We move it to this corner a little. That would work, but this one won't tie in, but that's okay. Something like that. Lots of little rows that will tie in together over here. I will continue um, all of that, but for the time being, let's quickly get the construction underway. Um, shall we go? Okay, let's do that. Let's Because you guys are, are, are hounding me for the asphalt roads, Let's go ahead and get um, our asphalt roads constructed. And before we do that, I'm going to cancel these little sections here. We'll tie them back in a little later. I just want to make sure that we uh, can get that asphalt road done um, in like one foul swoop here. Oh man, it doesn't want to. Hang on, try this one more time. Do we still have a, a thing here? Okay, you know what I'll do? I'm going to get rid of... The entire road section through there. Okay, and then we'll just rebuild that as asphalt. Uh, like so, and uh, let's get that constructed. So we'll start work on that construction over there, and then we'll start tying in the stuff as we need. So there's a little bit of asphalt construction going on over there. There, I can also start work on this piece. Nice, that's going to be good. So we'll get some asphalt construction underway. Uh, we, are, we don't need to pause the game. We'll just see about getting getting all that work done. Infra, in, uh, infra is coming to work on this. Infra is coming to work on that. And this does not want to be worked on at the moment. Why? Oh, we don't have a connection. Okay. We don't have a connection over here yet. So anyway, they'll continue to work on these kind of things. Um, at the same time, I can start uh, maybe getting our connection going on over here. Well, actually, to be honest, probably should be a gravel road altogether. Uh, let's cancel that one. Let's start the gravel road then. So if we do a gravel road that runs like that, as a starting point, we'll just tie it in over here. And we can then later on connect this one you know, back uh, over this way, tie it in over here somewhere to get there. Anyway, we'll we'll start work on that road also. So lots of road work that's going to um, start commencing over here. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a time lapse and and redo some of the stuff that I've done over here. And once I've done with the Irinsky um, re-layout, uh, we will talk about what I've done and how I've done it and why I've done it and so on. But uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side of the time lapse.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, let's uh, switch off the wireframe and I'll quickly tell you a little bit about what's going on over here. So I think we've made some progress with uh, with the asphalt roads, not, not a lot. Um, we haven't really started construction on anything yet. Um, so that's uh, unfortunate. Um, I'm hoping to get the infrastructure down first. We are making good progress with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, steel actually being produced and i'm very happy to report that our death rate is not too extreme um if we have a look at last month that that's i mean that's that's awesome we were still growing last month uh, in december so that's that's awesome so that means we've we've uh, we've kind of broken the back of the whole issue with uh, with winter over here i did uh, reduce the exports of power a little bit um, because yeah, we we were dropping quite a lot, but I think it was a matter of we're not getting enough workers out here now We are so this number should now start rising again. And in fact it is so that's good um, I'm still not happy that we're plowing stuff quick enough. This area is pretty good as well plowed It's just the new stuff that's not being plowed um, Properly and we're not getting workers out here to the construction sites um, there's all kinds of issues. Okay, now finally stuff is, a bu is busy arriving once more. What I did do is I actually um, procured a paver, but it doesn't seem, I don't know why the asphalt paver isn't going out. Maybe it's because um, it wasn't there when we started the construction of these pieces. So maybe if we start doing the paving for the next section, actually let's try that. If we start doing the asphalt over there um, and we sign MV equipment to this also, thank you. Um, hopefully um, things will uh, move out here and do do that thing. We have to gravel it first and then we go from there. Okay, so the new town, uh, this town is by no means complete. But what I've decided to do is make larger blocks here. It's not perfectly straight though, but I think it's okay. Um, larger blocks and then we'll have kind of public services in, in the center here. We'll try and do public services maybe on that side also. Um, and then we'll surround all of that by uh, by some of these housing blocks. The housing blocks will kind of have their own sports fields, their own kindergartens, their own kind of, um, what, what, what would this be called? Um, culture, culture it is, cultural enjoyment. Um, and then we'll have joy, uh, shared facilities like hospitals and um, fire stations and schools um, on the inside. We'll probably need to do multiple schools also, maybe even a school per housing block. That's something that, that may be required and maybe one or two, like, like two hospitals. Um, I think we've, we're going to manage to do the, the heating quite effectively. I've got our first power situation over here. So now we can start running in some of the, um, the piping and cabling that we need to, to start getting this up and running and working. Um, I would like us to, to start working on this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, things are going quite slowly. I'm very happy to report that we're still making a lot of money. And if we go out here, um, we'll see a lot of exports coming out this way. And if we quickly have a look at our exports, it's looking decent. A lot of power exports, a lot of brick, a lot of prefab panels being exported. Um, we're making a fair bit on bitumen as well. If we go to last month, Bitumen was a big ticket item. Prefab panels, very good. Look at the amount of prefab panels that we're, we're actually exporting and the amount of money that we're getting from that. So prefab is actually adding up to be quite a big component of what we're exporting. Look at our power exports as well. So good money being made um, from this. I mean, look, we made 66,000. So our exports is really carrying us um, a lot. If we look at um, last year, we made almost half a million. Um, and this year uh, we should be still be positive um, in this very first month. Uh, I mean, it's only the 11th of January and we've got a nice big number there. Um, so we're slowly starting to see deaths um, exceeding the births a little bit, but it's only very minor, um, which I'm quite kind of happy. It, it means that we will actually maintain stuff. Let's quickly go through what is going on with, uh, with our uh, health slowly i think health is starting to become is is being better health is getting better oh we've uh, we've built some more houses over here i didn't even uh, think that we were actually doing that at this point in time let's quickly see what's going on with our heating uh heating is solid heating is solid heating is really solid i like that heating is really solid i didn't even know we finished these guys off i know i planned them out but i didn't even know we finished them off anyway that means we've got um, space for people to move in. Um, hopefully we've, we're meeting all the needs of these people. Um, they're struggling to get meat, sport, but there's only the one. Um, five without a job. 
This is a pretty far from our closest job. So let's quickly see about walking distances. Oh, they can actually walk to everything. They can literally walk to everything. They can't walk to that store over there. Can they walk to this one? No. So they can't actually walk to the two stores that's selling the um, that's selling the uh, electronics and the clothes. Yeah, that's a that's a that's that's a problem. We may have to just see. I mean, there's a lot of areas. If we potentially, if we just bring out, oh, there is a little path coming out this way. So we'll see. Maybe we can uh, we can expand. We can we can get that walking distance a little bit better um, by making a shortcut through here or or something like that. Yeah, I think a shortcut through here might actually work. Let's uh, let's do go ahead and implement that. I think that's fine. Can we tie that in? Excellent. Let's uh, let's build those pieces. Hopefully, when that's in place, this this uh, this will be there will be a shortcut to. To that area there and that'll that'll help them to be able to get to that store okay excellent we are progressing we are progressing okay um yeah so i'm doing the public facilities in here we'll surround this by blocks um i'm going to run two parallel roads to our new um section of rail track over here and the idea is that this will be almost become a green strip so we'll see how that can work we obviously want as many houses within walking distance of this thing uh, we may find that some of these are slightly far away, but I think if we have the right little paths through here, we will have good stuff in there. I did a little bit of a roundabout thing over here with our uh, with our bus stop um, in this spot. Got a bus stop there. Every housing complex will have a bus stop, and we'll see about how we, we use bus stops to get people to various places. So we'll build lots of bus stops as we go. Uh, one thing that we don't have in this area now is... Um, technical services as well as uh, construction offices and so another construction office is something that's definitely on the cards here why is this not actually getting built we are missing gravel are we running out of gravel is that the is that the situation here uh we shouldn't ooh, we are running out of gravel that is interesting okay well let's up the number of people that's actually working here then let's uh let's get through gravel a little quicker than this so these guys are effectively lining up to to load gravel doesn't seem to be the case oh everything is using gravel including this guy okay we're exporting uh excellent so we're actually managing these exports so effectively at this point in time yeah gravel needs to be be up so let's uh, let's up the gravel hopefully our uh, quarry trucks can continue to provide oh they're actually not providing it quick enough it seems yeah, we run out of out of that fairly quickly. We may need another dump truck or two on these uh, on these routes. Yeah, we may need that. Actually, yeah, gravel is our problem. We are uh, short on gravel. So what I think we need to do is grab ourselves a couple of extra dump trucks to uh, to go and deal with that situation so let's buy a couple more so if i do dump trucks two more mm, what are we doing we're doing the zills right oh it's we're doing the t138s uh but we could potentially move to zills t138s no this is these are better i'm gonna do two more of them pretty pricey though uh, and what ooh, we need to assign MV Stone Delivery 1 and MV Stone Delivery 2. So, 1 to that one. Um, and start. Thank you. And then the other one to MV Stone Delivery 2. And start. So, hopefully we'll get stone out a little quicker now. There will be lots of construction all the time. The one thing that's quite interesting is we're not we've got a lot of gravel here um, and it's not actually pushing through over there because we don't have the um, um, the the engine in here so it's something that we could consider adding as a as, as one of these um, one of these engines but yeah so it's actually only drawing when things need it so what I'm keen on understanding is whether um, if the dump truck comes in here it starts drawing no this is a problem this is a problem. Did he take everything he needs? He did not. This is the problem. 
Okay, that's a problem. Okay, that is a big problem. We should be able to build a new line in here. So that's going to be an item for us to do. So the idea will be that we go ahead and build that if we could. Squeeze that in. We can in fact squeeze that in. So let's um, let's get started on that. I don't like the idea of the, uh, the road being on that side. We don't have much that we can deal with. Let's uh, quickly check it out. Can we get a road anywhere here? Crossing not allowed. We, we, we are going to struggle to get a road in there. Okay. Well, if we don't get a road in there, hmm, can we honestly not get a road underneath this? <laughs> we cannot. Uh, we cannot. Okay, so we'll have to find a different approach to this. Okay, so what we'll do is if we go to the mod stuffs, um, do, 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 we're looking for conveyors, so conveyor engines basically. If I go with one of these guys, right? A conveyor tower. And I, I, I believe the conveyor tower will act as a... Will act in... Will in fact act as a... Okay, so I think this is what we're going to go for. Let's get that uh, going. Um, at the same time, what we'll do is, shall we... Actually, we don't need fancy roads for this. Can we... We can't actually run the roads through there. Now, my question is, can we... Instead of doing roads, can we potentially do this? And get that constructed in such a way? I'm, honestly, I'm not sure that'll work. Uh, but let's have a look. Can we get that to work this way? I'm quite uh, comfortable to link this up here and see if that um, allows us to get construction vehicles here it does in fact allow us to get them there mv equipment and mv infrastructure can please be assigned here um, mv equipment also thank you now we've got tons of workers out here i don't need this many workers please we need the workers to work elsewhere um, okay hopefully once we get that built this thing will continue to provide enough gravel for our construction industry. It's interesting how we how we figure these things out as we go. It's slow construction on the roads due to due to that issue. I think we've finished two asphalt roads over here. Um, this asphalt road is under construction, but we still haven't seen a paver out here though, have? right? We're still waiting. Oh, we're still laying gravel. Okay, that's the issue. Wow, that's the slow stuff. Slow, 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 slow. We need tons more stuff over here, but I do believe our... Yeah, we are... Is that pushing through or not at all? Yeah, we definitely need to push stuff through there. At a b better rate. Uh, construction is underway here. We've had some steel being dropped off. Are we... We're still importing some steel, I believe. Let's just have a quick look. Um, at our imports yeah we are still importing steel um, but I think one of our offices is using is using this but I think now we probably have a decent enough supply to switch both of them over so if we look at the places where we're getting steel Irinsky uh, industrial open storage yeah that's the right thing to do uh, but I think our infrastructure equipment guys over here they are getting it from the imports steel yeah here yeah, from the imports all of them actually Ooh. okay well let's uh let's start moving these over so you can get steel over there you can get bricks over there please you can get prefab panels over here not that i think you need any of that and boards you can keep getting over there okay that should be should be better Nice. How's our... We've got everything we need over here. We just don't know. And now we don't have any workers. Uh, workers aren't actually arriving. Workers are over here, but we're missing 
um, key components to this construction over there and I'm kind of wondering we're probably not getting the people out there what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear this out um, get the road in there okay and then what we'll do is we'll just link those uh, those pieces back up here okay let's uh, tie that back see about tying that in okay that should be fine so now hopefully that should work a little bit better here okay immediately getting plowed double plowed nice okay excellent that's uh, that's really good um i think this will help us a lot once that gets done now i do wonder why sometimes it is that is it filling up now it is filling up it's a little weird it's a little weird but anyway what we'll do is we'll what i'm going to try and do is empty out this aggregate storage because there's a lot there that can constantly be used at this uh, this, this this aggregate storage here uh let's quickly have a look what are we doing it's into middle february oh look at this look at this how many deaths did we have last month so january was the toughest month we lost about a hundred people um the net effect of a hundred people being lost um not too bad not too bad considering where we were a couple of seasons ago okay excellent okay well it's slow going it's slow going hopefully if we can get there's too many construction pieces underway at the moment so starting work on our on our new buildings over there might not necessarily be the right thing is this done or we still have construction underway over here Honestly, why does it take so long? These guys will start complaining about... Unable to get meat, huh? Why is that? You should definitely be able to get to the store over here, right? Absolutely. Are we running out of meat? And food? Or we're going to run out of food soon? Where's our trucks? Out of food. Do we not have enough uh, distribution here? Where are our trucks? Any trucks on the way here? Currently heading to this building. Food is on the way. Um, so where exactly are you? Wow, still some, what, some distance away. Maybe we need to expand our distribution office over here. What is this? Oh, this is the infrastructure teams. Maybe if we expand our uh, distribution office, this distribution office, the small one we've got here, might have been a little bit too small to deal with things. Our, our hospitals are have, have enough people there. And we are doing a pretty decent job with getting, getting educated people around. Okay, and our, our birth versus death rate is not... It's not too bad. Still, still worse than it should than we than we would like it to be. But um, it's not so that it's going to have a massive impact on our economy come the next uh, the next uh, uh, summer season. Okay, is this? Uh, oh, excellent! This construction is underway nicely. That's good. That's done. This one. We're missing a oh, gravel. Gravel. Gravel is a big problem for us. So I'm I'm honestly hoping. That with this in there, oh, excellent! Winter is uh, is coming to an end. I'm honestly hoping that with this new piece here, we will get that loaded up. Really, uh, we will get that loaded much better, and gravel will be available more to the uh, facilities that needs it. I honestly hope that that is the case. We do want to get to all kinds of stuff. Okay, so here we can see some of our asphalt roads have been built. Um, some are struggling. What are you waiting on? Gravel. Gravel. Oh, here comes gravel gums coming in over there. This road is also still waiting on gravel. My goodness, a little bit. Just a tiny little bit of gravel is still needed over here. One, one load. One load. One truckload of gravel. Okay, I think our gravel situation should be resolved. Let's quickly have a look at our pollution. There's been a lot of discussion saying that Actually, with this gravel facility um, underway all the time, we will have problems with pollution here. If I have a look at what, what pollution this is creating. Um, max power consumption, environment pollution, 12.6 tons per year. And that one, 2 tons per year. 
Um, and what was the heating plant? Let's quickly see if we have a look at the heating plant. The heating plant, the small heating plant at 7 tons. So really, this thing is even worse than the small heating plant. Okay. Oh, we've got a fire. Okay, at least there's a fire department is there. Um, so if we have a look at our pollution monitor. Without power? Really? We're running out of power? What's going on with the power? Are we out? We should really not have... Oh, there's only one person working here. Where's the... Where's our buses? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? C-H-E. Cheat mode activated. I need to constantly come back and do this again and again. Where is the uh, thing? Line spacing. Line spacing. I need to always remember to do that. The line spacing is the issue. We ran out of workers at the um, power plant. Come on, guys. Excellent. That should, uh, should resolve our power issues for the time being. Let's uh, pop back into this and check the pollution out. Yeah, so pollution over here will be a problem. These guys will always struggle with pollution due to, um, to this situation. In the future, we may move this, but it's not something that we'll do in the short term. We may move this out somewhere else, maybe up here, so that there's less of a pollution issue. I really didn't think um, this was going to be a big pollution generator. But anyway, it is. It is what it is now. So uh, we're not going to move it right now. We'll see about getting the rest of this stuff built. Excellent. That's built. Um, so what we can do, this is excellent. Is the paver working? Nice. So the paver is working. It means that it doesn't actually need workers here. So maybe multiple pavers will be the thing for us to do. Hmm. So one of the things that I think will make this, our lives a little bit easier here is if we don't just, yeah, do these little sections one by one. Because the, the movement of, 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 of these vehicles, every time that happens, will be a problem. We need to extend, uh, well, build the, the full sections all the time. Okay. Gravel is still being, being done over here. Oh, this thing is done as asphalt road there. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so lots of little bits and pieces that needs to be done. Um, as we can slowly start connecting these things up. Let's, uh, let's gravel this, because at least graveling, graveling this is quite helpful. Really? A little, a, just a little section like that? My goodness. Can I, can I just redo it then? What I'll do is I'll redo the entire thing. We'll try and cut it straight out of there, and then we'll... Really? You're gonna You're gonna be weird about it? Oh yeah, there we go. That's the one that I want. Um let's do that so we can start graveling that section. Graveling one and then doing the asphalt lighter is uh, is is a legitimate way of doing it. Uh what we need to do put some some vehicles over here. Technical services and the things might be what we need first. But man, this is uh this is gonna be slow, slow going. More construction vehicles if we can get all of this up and running right is this is this still not working why is this an issue missing concrete oh that's the thing we need mv construction on the case here this is uh this is this is my fault this is my fault is that would that even be powered at least it should be we should have power all of these should have power so that should be fine and apparently um the the uh, the, the, the trees do do in fact uh, mask the the pollution a little bit okay um, with that we'll just continue this to run see this is why I don't necessarily asphalt everything because look at the um, problems that this is going to create for us now so we'll add start asphalting those we'll uh, start asphalting this that is I think that has already been asphalted Okay, so we'll we'll be able to get all of these um, asphalted over here. Now the roller is over here doing its thing. Nice. This guy is driving home. Excellent. This piece of road should be done fairly soon. Nice. And these asphalt roads don't have the street lights and the nice um, sidewalks. But uh, anyway, it's getting there. We've got cars available to us. But yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. 
it's a challenge. A lot happening all at the same time. How's our steel going? Our steel production is looking really good. I'm not in the, in the mood to start exporting steel just yet. Uh, we just cut away from importing it. That's going to be fine. Um, we, we need to maintain the steel, the steel um, provisions for our construction. That's going to happen over here. But yeah, it seems like it's going to take us quite a while to get that underway. One of the things that I also want to, to, to look into is potentially starting our, um, our rail construction yard somewhere over here where it's um where it can be where we can get a constant stream of workers from uh, from nearby buildings that that would be quite useful if we can do do it over here somewhere and tie in into it but this area might be a little tight might be might be worth doing it over here somewhere so we'll we'll have a little bit of, of rail out of it so that we can tie in a bit more appropriately in some of these some of these situations the turn here won't work either, so we may have to have a look at bringing rail that runs through here and then we'll get rid of this section of the road and we'll tie that in a little bit more appropriate over here. Over here. But I think that's a, that's a ways off. I think our new roads, um, our new road construction is, is fine for the moment. Let's quickly see, have we... Ooh, our births and our deaths are still equal for March last month. Yeah, okay, that's better, but this month is still equal. She's not great. Really not great. Okay, have we finished? We finished that piece off. So I'm hoping that now these guys can actually make it to the store. Oh, they still can't make it to that store over there. That's a dilemma, isn't it? These stores only sell food. Food. So these guys really can't get electronics, right? So why are they not complaining about it? No one lives here. No one lives there. But this guy should be complaining about something. It's not complaining though. It's, it's uh, interesting. It's interesting. They can't actually get there, but they're not complaining about it. You know what else we could try? This. Oh, there's not enough room. Oh, that worked. Was that actually... Okay, let's just cancel that and try it again. Yeah, this wasn't uh, wasn't actually tying in there. Yeah, it doesn't want to uh, allow us to tie in over here. I would have liked to get a little path that just cuts it off. Um, cuts this uh, this little corner here. How far are we away from this? If we look at this guy, 370 meters to these guys. So they can't get to those shops, not at all. Okay, well, we may have to add another shop somewhere. More shops, more shops. Um, okay. Now, we'll, uh, we'll let this kind of continue to run. There's a lot of work that needs to happen here. We've got our... These are workers that's doing this. So we don't even have the... Um, we don't have the... Uh, Where's the... I don't understand why we don't have the... Um... Where's the paver? Here it comes. So it didn't get, uh, it didn't get the, uh, the vehicle to bring it over. So that was the issue. Okay, let's go back down over here. So there's been a lot of discussion of this. Uh, let's quickly see. So we have... Oh, and I'm going to name this town quickly. I had an awesome suggestion for a town name. So I'm going to name the town, if I can find where to do it. City area. Um, the city area is going to be over here somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and let's uh, pop in there. It is going to be called... Uh, let, I've written this down. Sofkozygrad. Sofkozy... Sof Sofkozygrad, Sofkozygrad, something like that. Yeah, Sofkozy um, or, or Sofkoz um, is the um, would have uh, was the uh, was the farming the farming company for the Soviet Union, I believe. At least that's what I've been told. Um, uh, other way around, like so, and and so that's an appropriate name for our for our town over here. So that's going to be. Um, that and then we'll, this one will be called um, Sofkos Farms. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, rename it. No, buddies. Rename it as um, Sofkos 
uh, farms. Perfect. We'll do something like that. There we go. This area has now been nice and renamed. So here we've got the agro farm. We've got a gas station. We've got a grain silo. And we've got a road cargo station. So I'm not going to mess with that. This is, is appropriate. Over here, we've got the farms warehouse. We've got the warehouse. We've got a, a distillery. Uh, two distilleries, actually. And we've got two food factories. And that might be appropriate. But what I'd rather do is let's quickly get rid of this there there get rid of this oh this was an extra storage i'm gonna get rid of that for now and we'll get rid of this guy and what i'll do is i'll put a distillery in here so we'll have one food factory and one distillery and we need to make sure that we maintain appropriate distances over here so we don't have a pollution problem um okay let's get that going on so this is the food industry i would like a distillery How much can we if we could tie it in like this it would be cool so I'll do we're not gonna get get away with very cool connections here something like this could be quite nice if we can ultimately get that to tie in uh, maybe something like that. Uh, this actually will leave a little bit more room. Okay, well, that's it. Let's uh, put the distillery in there. On this side of the spectrum, what we're going to do is we're going to do the livestock industry. But we need to bear in mind that we need to do a lot of livestock. Okay, so I'm going to have multiple livestock farms connected here. That's going to be, be uh, what we'll need to do here. So if I'll try and move that out a little bit this way. Okay, so if we do something like that. Can we, I want to try and get that connected so that we can still get access to the road. Let's try that one. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will see about getting another livestock. Ooh, the, the one thing that we need to bear in mind, though, is all of these guys somehow needs to be connected to... Uh, what is the next piece? Let's quickly see. Uh, we then need to connect that to the livestock hall for storage and then towards the slaughterhouse. Okay, so let's, uh, let's quickly redo these. Let's do this. And that I want to just uh, make sure that we we double check that we've we've got all of our access points. So we need to get all of these connected to. There are multiple connection points available though. So if we do something like this, alternatively, if we do this and we can get it to connect. Yeah, but we're going to have problems with, with, with all of that. Hmm. So really the, the most appropriate thing for us to do is to... Well, we can get two of them connected like this pretty easily. So if we do that... And we do... This... Yeah, it's still not going to connect it that way, though. But we can do the uh, even that's going to be a problem for us. Unless we do something like that and we connect this one in from the other side. OK, that could actually work. So we'll just use two of them then. And then we'll see. We'll have to gauge how that works from there. Something like this, I think they'll be a bit more appropriate. Then we'll get these roads connected on this side. And then from here, we can connect all of this into a slaughterhouse or a livestock hall. So if we do something like this. Okay, and then we connect that up to a slaughterhouse.
that can also connect into a meat storage at some point. Uh, this side less less appropriate, I think. This side is less appropriate. Let's just do this side. Uh, something like that instead. Yeah, we need to bear in mind that we need the meat storage still. Um, I like I like having it over here. And we'll also do a meat storage right here. That'll be fine. Perfect. Okay, now let's uh, just stop the construction on all of this. I think this is going to be our, our starter setup. This is not going to serve us for a very long time, but it should at least, I think, deal with um, Irinsky and 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 and, and MV uh, Morgan Valley. I think that's 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 uh, that's going to be just fine. It's definitely going to give us enough alcohol, um, and it should probably give us enough meat and food for all of these for all of these these uh, starting areas. Okay, now let's get. A little bit of a row to kind of come around this way. We will start to tie these things up onto this road. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's appropriate, this whole area over here. What we need to find out is somewhere we need to drop off people to work at all of these facilities. So we'll need to bring in... Yeah, anyway, that's fine. I think this is going to be a good setup. Um, so what happens over here is we've got... Let's just have a quick look at our at our numbers. So we can produce five tons of livestock, so ten tons of livestock in total. Um, and this guy needs two hundred and fifty tons of livestock to actually um, operate at a good at a good number. So the one thing that we can, in fact, do. Let's just have a look. So this livestock all range, we can provide another um, offloading facility here that can ultimately bring livestock in from somewhere else. Uh, we've got a got, got a little gap over here where we can do that. Similarly, we can bring crops in here from from elsewhere using train or potentially a, a, a road cargo station. Uh, do we have a road cargo station? Oh, we don't have a road cargo station here. Hang on. I'm thinking we need we need a road cargo station here, guys. If we don't have a road cargo station here, it'll be problematic for us. So if I'm, I'll just do something like that and we'll, we'll set up a road cargo station over here. So we'll have a road cargo station that actually drops off the stuff here. The, the crops. Okay, we need to leave a bit of a gap so we can get a road in here. So something like that, it's going to have to be, have to do that. Perfect. Okay, we'll have to do that. Uh, ultimately run some roads. Um, let's run that up there. And what we'll do is we'll start tying these in. We'll bring a road up here somewhere. Again to town. We need to figure out where exactly we're going to have our bus stations and stuff. Yeah, these things will start tying together. There's at least a fair bit of room here. So we'll just need to make sure that we double check about the size of a big field um, in between. And that's going to be just fine. Okay. Um, good stuff. I think, guys, this is going to be where I'm going to end this episode. Let's quickly see, have a look at our progress. Um, progress uh, takes time. Progress takes time. There's, uh, these roads are actually being constructed. That road has been constructed now. So that's bringing in people. This road is finishing off. And this asphalt section over there and then hopefully we'll start seeing um, coal being moved um, in this direction on this because this piece of road runs a little quicker not sure the dumpers can do much much more though um, I wanted to do hang on let's uh, do one more little thing here I wanted to tie this guy in here and uh, then get get this sorted out and we can start working on that also we can start working on all of this. How's this going? Oh, steel is looking beautiful. Look at that. 400 tons of steel ready. We are producing at a constant rate. I think we're getting coal here quick enough all the time. Uh, obviously, our iron production is amazing. Look at that. We don't need to be producing iron at any higher rates than this. Um, we bring in a fair bit of these guys 
Um, so that's good. That's excellent. Let's go quickly go back and have a look at our coal. Coal is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I can, I can add the add more uh, power being exported at the moment. But anyway, our money is looking awesome. Our money is looking awesome. And, and this is now where we just need to get more people, um, more production, all these kind of things going on. We are slowly getting out of that um, out of that death situation and we're starting to see more workers come in. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will take a little bit of a drive along this this vehicle um, as we um, as we end the episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.